Hey, this is Derry. Um, here to talk about my new project, Clouds Echo and Blue. And uh, just to give you a little kind of history of the whole idea, um, I've always been into um, what they call ambient music, which started really back in the 60s. But um, Brian Eno was kind of the, the one who made it, a t kind of coined the term, and then made it a pop one more popular uh, genre. And um, one of the things about playing guitar for me has always been, from the time I started playing electric guitar, was uh, more, it was always about sound, and um, what I could do with the guitar sound-wise, as opposed to a lot of guys would, you know, sit and practice scales and learn to play a lot of different chords and really fast and stuff like that. And for me, it was always about uh, setting up amplifiers and effects and getting sounds. It was always about the sound. And um, through the years with the choir, we've done a lot of the more, we've, we've kind of incorporated some ambient stuff into our music with the, with the, the choir and, and um, a lot of soundscapes and, and things like that and underlying kind of guitar pads and stuff. And stuff. Uh, so that's always been a real big part of what I do. And um, a few years ago, I thought about, uh, I'd love to just do a guitar record and do an ambient guitar record. And um, Mark Bird was kind of a big inspiration for me on that because he started this band, Hammock, which is a great band, an ambient guitar band. And, and um, he went and started putting out these records, little EPs and records, and really inspired me to kind of do something finally. And uh, I started piecing it together about a year and a half ago, maybe might have been two years ago now. Um, started piecing stuff together and coming up with ideas and just going in the studio and writing. And um, some of the early pieces ended up going on the last choir record that we did, Burning Like the Midnight Sun. Some of them ended up being musical pieces for that. And so I went back and added some more. And, and, um, and finally, uh, uh, Galaxy 21 and Dan and Lisa and Michaels put it out and um, got it finished and I'm really proud of it. Uh, I think it, for me it's a, it's a big step because I'm used to working with partners like Steve writing lyrics or Mike Rowe or The Lost Dogs. Or, so I, for me to put something out by myself it takes a lot of, it, it's, I'm really insecure so it takes a lot of effort to do that. And um, But the great thing is I, the, the way I've always written music and, and, and approached music is, is almost like each piece is a film in my head and I kind of see things, I see you know images and, and, and I think of certain things when I'm writing a, a guitar melody or a, you know, a guitar sound or something I'm thinking of in terms of almost like film, I'm thinking in terms of like a picture and um, so this was a good opportunity for me to do that because I don't really write a whole lot of lyrics, so this was a good opportunity to kind of just make stuff up. Like I would sit down and I would think of a, a title first, and then I would just kind of go with that title and play to what I thought would be if that title was a picture or a movie or a book or something like that. 